Right, like house meeting, okay? Yeah. <laughs> I know four pounds fifty is right a hell of a lot of bread to lay out just for a lentil casserole, but I did a lot, right? And it struck me that, like, considering what I'm gonna do tonight, I should do like thirteen portions. <laughs> Thirty? What are you doing, starting a football team? No, no, killing myself. Killing myself. This is my last supper, right? I've finished building my gallows and it's totally far out. You should see it, Rick. Like, when the trap door opens and I, like, die, it lies joysticks and plays rock around the clock. It's totally amazing. <laughs> oh, far out! Really great! Woodstock! <laughs> Listen, we got a letter from the council. They're gonna demolish the house tomorrow! <laughs> going to turn it into an entertainment complex. This room's a roller disco. Hey, I'm depressed. It's nine below zero. He's blummin' right, you know. <laughs> They, i.e. the council, destroy the house of Mike. Listen, if we don't smash the house up, the council are going to demolish it tomorrow. He's right, you know. They're going to knock the house down tomorrow. That's all very well. But finally, after years of stagnation, the TV people have woken up to the need for locally based minority programmes. Rick, Rick, the council are going to knock the house down tomorrow. Yes, 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 yes. So you keep saying, but they'll never do it. This is a student residence. A seat of learning. The council have okayed it, babes, okay?
house was going to be demolished. It isn't this one. I think it's the one on the other side of town. Excuse me. Hey, Rick, man, what are you doing with my crucifix, man? Fantastic. Yeah, look, I really think I should lay this one on you, man. That's a really negative way to kill yourself, you know, like... I've tried it hundreds of times. There's no way you can hammer in the last nail. <laughs> yeah, come on, man. You can do me a favor. Oh, fight on! Wow, I really hope we don't have a crash. <laughs> me too. But they say it's safer than crossing the road. Yes, but we have to do that too. <laughs> Best not to think about it. Oh no! That plane is going to crash on us! Volume, I assume. I can hear. Can you hear? You can't hear me. No, no, I can hear you perfectly. Good. Okay, I can hear you fine. Great. Can you see me? Yeah. Well, no, actually. <laughs> that's that's another story. But <laughs> <laughs> all right, we're gonna. I guess they're putting the tape in now, so I will give you guys a uh, five-second roll down and be out by about 14 after. So we'll go in five, four, three, two. Rick. You now have uh, one of your first major American movies. Uh, I know, it's scary, it's scary. Uh, I only came to America with three pairs of trousers. I need some more. <laughs> <laughs> They're filling up fast. Oh, that's rude, sorry. <laughs> Anglo-Saxon humor there. Okay. <laughs> now you're doing Drop Dead Fred. What is Drop Dead Fred? Drop Dead Fred is... That's the character I play in the film. Uh, and he's an imaginary friend. You know, kids sometimes have imaginary friends. They're invisible. No one else can see them except the, the, the kid who's imagined them. That's fine. That's perfectly normal. Except that the hook of the film is that Fred comes back when the little girl grows up and becomes Phoebe Case. It's Phoebe Case's character. Would you ever Elizabeth. perform again with Adrian or, you know, maybe... Uh, yeah, I'm writing with him at the moment. We're writing a show called Bottom, where I play uh, Richard Richard, which is like a psychotic um, odd couple. I play Richard Richard, and he plays uh, Eddie Hitler. Eddie Hitler? Yeah, people say, any relation? He goes, yes! <laughs> Anis, you're, like, ridiculously intelligent. Why? Well, how can you believe it? Well, surely it's up there with JFK and Princess Diana. It's all conspiracy stuff. Yeah, and if you kept me started... That's what I mean. You sound like crazies, you really do. Play building blocks with me. What? Ernest? Please, Dion. There's one game. Sam, they fall over. Yeah. Not down. No. And it's what's your point? With any kind of building blocks, when you pull out the blocks from the side, it falls over at that point. Well, then explain to me how, when an aeroplane was flown into one of the Twin Towers on September the 11th, that building collapsed in on itself. What about the other tower? Scientifically, mathematically, or blockily, those buildings should have fallen over, not inwards. I mean, I'll concede to the idea that by some sort of miracle, one of those towers could have collapsed in on itself. But both of them? I'm afraid I doubted that the moment I watched it happen live. 
It is unconceivable that those planes brought those buildings down. But watch a controlled demolition, it looks the same. September the 11th, 2001 was a ruse, a show, a charade that even a child could identify. Bullshit. No fucking way. No way. It's nine below zero. He's blooming right, you know. Oh, yeah. oh vital!